Infectious bronchitis, or IB as it is often known, is an acute, highly contagious disease of major economic importance in commercial chicken flocks throughout the world. The IB virus enters the respiratory tract via aerosol and starts to replicate. From this site, the virus may colonize more internal organs such as the kidneys and the reproductive tract. Infectious bronchitis is mainly characterized by respiratory signs. Nephropathogenic strains can induce interstitial nephritis with high mortality in broilers. Decreased egg production and poor shell quality are also seen in breeders and layers. In layers, egg production may drop by as much as 70% with poor eggshell quality. The initial and principal site of viral replication is in the epithelial cells of the upper respiratory tract. The avian infectious bronchitis virus contains four main structural proteins. The S1 portion of the S protein, which gives the virus its typical form, is fundamental to attach and start the replication on ciliated epithelial cells. Replication of the virus in the respiratory tract will result in loss of ciliary activity, necrosis, and desquamation, causing respiratory distress. The infectious bronchitis virus is an RNA virus with a high rate of mutation resulting in the constant emergence of new variants. The S1 spike gene determines the antigenic diversity of the virus. The high rate of mutation of the S1 gene of IB virus may be explained by possible errors during the transcription process of the viral genome and by field selection pressure due to the host immune response. A multitude of infectious bronchitis virus serotypes exist and co-circulate in any geographic region. Globally, outside of North America, there is a wide circulation of the 793B, QX, and Q1 IB viruses. More local variants may arise, like the Brazilian variants or the Middle East variants. New variants are antigenically different, so it is vital to ensure that the vaccination programs continue to provide protection. Vaccination against IB is routinely used throughout the global poultry industry in order to protect flocks and avoid economic losses. Live attenuated vaccines are usually administered by spray and are capable of stimulating the immune system of chickens. The vaccine virus passes through the respiratory epithelial barrier and is phagocytized by macrophages. The macrophage destroys the virus and presents the antigen. The S1 protein plays an important role in the induction of a protective immune response and is exposed on the surface of the macrophages. Antigenic presentation of the antigen allows full stimulation of the immune system. Immune mechanisms of general and local mucosal immunity are involved in protection against infectious bronchitis virus. Live IB vaccines stimulate the local cellular immunity, such as CD8 plus T lymphocytes involved in cytotoxicity. The respiratory tract mucosa develops immunity against field IB viruses. Live IB vaccines can also stimulate local humoral immunity, such as the IgA antibodies produced by activated B lymphocytes. The secretion of IgA into the trachea lumen enables the respiratory tract mucosa protection. Furthermore, live IB vaccines can stimulate systemic humoral immunity, such as the IgY antibodies produced by activated B lymphocytes. The IgY circulates in the bloodstream and enables systemic protection of the chicken. The 
fungus vaccination can be an efficient way to protect the flock against IV infection, but it does not ensure a complete protection against different serotypes. Studies have shown that vaccinating with two different types of IBV vaccine can provide a broader protection against heterologous IBV variants. Merial active cross-protection is induced by a heterotypic strategy combining two different strains of IV vaccine virus. The immune mechanisms of general and local mucosal immunity are involved in cross-protection against different variant strains of IB, such as ITO2, QX, Middle East variants and Q1 viruses. Heterotypic vaccination strategy is aimed at establishing immunity against a different variant strain than the ones used for homologous protection. Merial offers the complete range of services to the poultry industry, such as diagnostics, vaccination equipment and veterinary technical advice to vets.